Final game of the season at the J. Davidson Stadium. It's finished. Altrincham one, Oxford City uh, nil. Phil Parkinson, the Altrincham manager, joins us. Altrincham have finished fourth in the Vanarama National League, and that means a home playoff tie against FC Halifax Town on Wednesday evening with a 7 p.m. Uh, kickoff. Phil, it was a it was a, a nervy afternoon. Uh, yeah, only because we knew last five minutes everyone would had won so how important the result was I felt fairly comfortable throughout if I'm perfectly honest with you we should have put them to bed in the first half we had some really good opportunities um, but listen Oxford although they've been relegated they make it really tough they're an in possession uh, team we like to have the ball so it can feel frustrating as an Altrincham fan or an Altrincham player or a manager because we don't like opposition having much of the ball but we're learning, as you can see, with all the clean sheets that we're gathering and we're coming out the right end of close results, that we can control a game just as well out of possession as we can in. Just spoken to Ethan Ross and asked him if he knew exactly what was going on elsewhere around the grounds and he said he didn't, but I'm guessing you did. Only last five, as I said, we were purely focused on what we were doing. And again, it was only relevant because we were 1-0 up. If you're 3-0 up, you're not really fussed. Um, if you're losing, you're not. <laughs> you're out of sight. You're not really concerned about that. There's nothing you can do apart from trying to get back in the game. But at one nil, last five minutes, we, it, probably that's why it felt a little bit nervy. But ultimately, I felt like we were in control of the game, in and out of possession. They're obviously going to have periods of the ball because that's what they're really good at. But I think Ethan's had one save to make. You might correct me on that one where it was a deflected shot. And as I said. Not that we've worked the keeper loads and loads, but we've got into some really dangerous uh, areas in the first half and another day we'd probably win comfortably three or four. We nearly put the game to bed with a, a terrific free kick from Chris Con clark in the second half. Fair play to uh, Tom Wobbs Watson, a magnificent save from a, an impressive young goalkeeper. Yeah, I thought that was in. I was just about to sub Chris off and I thought that would be... A real fitting moment just as he had the free kick and one eye on Wednesday obviously as well with Chris, Justin and Regan coming off, just being really, really careful. Um, you'd, you'd like to change loads, wouldn't you? You'd like to start with a different team, but the magnitude of finishing where we did and, and to try and get some kind of home field advantage was really important. But on the day, it's a lottery and uh, my next thing I'd like to say is congratulations to all the teams that have made the playoffs. We know how tough it's been for us, but... You're defined by where you finish in the division. We've come fourth um, and now we're in the lottery of what happens next and we've been here before as a football club so hopefully we can uh, use that to our advantage. Fourth position in the Vanarama National League is a magnificent uh, achievement for, it, for you, the players and the football club. Yeah, it certainly is. It's the first time since uh, the leagues were reconfigured. I think you told me a, a few months back uh, that we've been able to do it. So I don't know how many years that is. I'm sure you'll chip in with that. But it's been a long time coming for the football club. We come here, we had a mission when we come. And it feels great when you're somewhere near to achieving that. Um, I don't want to sound premature or anything like that. But we've worked so hard to get here. We're desperate to see it through now, but as I said, we've been in the playoffs so many times before. Uh, we, we've lost at Chorley, haven't we, at the eliminator stage. We've, we've gone through in semi-finals and finals. Uh, we've gone through as champions, so as a management team and one or two of the players, well, a lot of the players at different teams have experienced that success. We've just got to hope that things go for us on the day, because uh, Halifax are a very good team and they're there for a reason as well. Congratulations to Chris and his team. I know they've had a hard uh, last week there and full credit to them. I know there's a bit of a rivalry between us and Halifax just with the locality of the teams, but I, I think I spoke to him at the back end of last season and this is what he said he'd like, that kind of rivalry between Halifax and Altrincham and hopefully we've we've given both sets of fans that now. But um, yeah, it's 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 a... It's a mouth-watering tie, isn't it, to go into against somebody who we know a lot about and they know a lot about us. And whoever you play in the playoffs or at this stage, it's a very, very tough game. It doesn't really matter who the opposition is, but a great advantage for us is it's here at the J. Davidson Stadium. Yeah, it is, but it'll be fine margins. They've come here and got results. We've, got, we've gone there and got results in the past, so I think it'll be whatever team turns up on the day who executes their game plan the best. And it is, it is always so close it's so fine there'll be a lot of nerves uh, that it doesn't matter how much of a calming influence i'll try and be with the players or neil it'll be a great occasion i'm sure it'll be a sellout it'll be brilliant for for both sets of fans both sets of players and everyone will be desperate to get to them semi-finals 
One of the big pluses this afternoon was uh, to see Justin Amaluzo in that first half tearing down the, the right wing, uh, uh, absolute scint scintillating uh, pace, and he's a nightmare for defenders. He is when he gets up to speed, and that's what we've been trying to do with him because he was out for a period, so we... we he had his first set of real minutes against Ebb's fleet and then we got him up to 60. We feel he's there now. He looks great in training. You saw him at his very best in the first half in particular. We're protecting him in the second. Um, but they're all they're all very dangerous, all the front four. So it's a really dangerous front four against a really stubborn back five or back four, whatever Chris decides to go with. Um, but whatever he does, hey, we'll fancy our chances and so will they. So Justin's a pivotal player in that, but so are the other lads in that front four and the lads from the bench as well can play their part. And reaching uh, the playoffs is a milestone. It's not the end of the journey yet, and it's not the final uh, destination or, or our objective, but it's got to be recognised as, as, a, as a superb achievement. The first time the Altrincham Football Club has reached the National League playoffs. There you go, yeah, it's great to say that, isn't it? And uh, as I said, when we when we come in, it was always the um, sort of plan to be pushing at the right end of the table. I think everyone had their eyes open to how tough this division is, and you can see the statistics don't lie. Within the first five years of getting promoted into this division, I think 45% of teams go down, and you're seeing that. Uh, and we've managed to weather that. We'll be going into our fifth season next year, or potentially not. So hopefully we can uh, exit the right end of the, the division rather than the wrong end of the division. It's no mean feat just to, to stay in this league. Look at Woking last year, playoff candidates. Boreham would have gone down perennial playoff contenders. And I just want to keep everyone's feet on the ground with that as well. I have a horrible feeling in my pit in my stomach that I know expectations will be that we're just going to win the league next year. It doesn't work like that. As I said, just reference what the, the teams that have said that have been in them positions last season where they are now. Look at Torquay, one game away from uh, promotion. And I don't want to put a big damper on things, but I do want people to realise what a mammoth task it is for us as Altrincham uh, to get into the playoffs from one. Remember the league. Uh, finishes that we've had 17th, 14th and 17th to now finish fourth shows the huge effort gone into the football club by everyone, players, staff, board, fans, everyone's played the part otherwise we wouldn't be where we are. So yeah it's brilliant but let's remember how hard it is, let's not get too up too down as I always say um, but it's a fantastic day, enjoy it because you're in the playoffs, you finish the highest in the playoffs out of all the other teams that shows how well we've done this season. Um, but ultimately, as you said, the journey's not complete yet. And we've finished the season on a, on a high in terms of form and particularly so in terms of our defensive record. You have to go back to Good Friday and that goal at Kidderminster Harry is the last time that we were breached. Yep, well, that's been the biggest improvement, hasn't it, in terms of the number of goals that we've uh, kept at bay, the amount of clean sheets that we've, we've got, the amount of 1-0s, 2-0s, that we've had this season that we, we we just couldn't do previously for a number of reasons personnel but also experience in the division you've got to remember in this league we've had i think two full rebuilds one from part-time to full-time and then within the full-time when we lost 75 percent of our goals last year when we looked like we could have made the playoffs then to do that to come from where we've been in the northern premier league straight through straight through the conference north at the second time of asking the club took massive, massive strides and everyone's really proud of it. And the only way that we can keep moving forward is keep improving all the time. And all the people I've just mentioned, fans, players, staff, if we all have that, that same vision and we all understand where we are as a football club, we'll keep moving forward. But just remember how far we've come in a short, short space of time. The amount of uh, players that have come in and played their part, the history makers in terms of the lads who, who transformed the club from part-time to full-time, the fact that they stayed in the division part-time twice of asking. It's been a huge effort from everyone, so really proud of the players in particular because they're the ones who are on the pitch. Everyone will speak about what myself and Neil are doing, the other staff, but it's the players. It's always about the players and just remember that. Remember how important they are and without them we wouldn't be in this position right now.